So, with so many voices out there going on about the difference between Easter and Passover, what is all the fuss about? Well, in the first place we need to note that Easter is a religious event in its own right. It was birthed in Babylon and is attributed to a temple prostitute who invented the religious mythology of the Queen of Heaven. Easter practice predates Passover by at least a couple of hundred years, yet there are some commonalities. Both have a God in focus. They both have ritualistic animals and foods associated with them. Israel was involved in worship of Easter even after the exile to Babylon. The Queen of Heaven was said to have descended from heaven in an egg, turning a bird into an egg-laying rabbit, which is fitting since she was a fertility god. This is where the bunny finds its way into the Easter story. So far from being strange, when Easter is allowed to be its own religion, it makes perfect sense. There is of course also the hot cross bun, which is unquestionably mentioned by Jeremiah concerning the apostasy of Israel while in Babylon. Jeremiah condemns Israel for making cakes for none other than the Queen of Heaven. And no, that cross on the bun is not Jesus' cross. It's actually the marking of the vernal equinox, which occurs on the set date for Easter. Speaking of which, you should understand that Easter is a religion which not only depends on the sun for its marking of time, but also is considered a fixed day of worship, where Passover depends on the phases of the moon and is considered a movable day of worship. So a comparison of these two distinct religious observances show us that each have an animal, each have food items, and even rituals which go along with it. Passover is concerned with the blood of the lamb which covers sin. Easter has a different use for the blood. Sadly, babies were conceived to be born at this time of year and to be sacrificed for the Queen of Heaven. Their blood was used to dip eggs which were offered to the Queen. So the final question in comparing these ideas is, what did Jesus say and do with regards to our heritage? And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Note the term Jesus uses to define the event. This Passover is the same event at which Jesus stood and told his disciples to do it in remembrance of him. Now some people will argue that we are always to do communion in remembrance of Jesus. But that is like saying that because I invite you to a specific meal at a time and place, that every meal I ever have again is expected to have you present. No, Jesus was quite intentional. The scope of his statement was that whenever the disciples, later to be known as the sent ones or apostles, were going to practice Passover, they were to do so with Jesus' sacrifice in mind. So please note that this is our heritage. This is our calling. This is Passover.